What is up guys, Mr. Lee Redmond here, and welcome to episode number 5 of the simulation series. That is right, it is July 2073. We are 50 years into the future. Um, as we remember from the last episode, potential beginnings of change with the fact that Hibernian won four premierships in a row. We still had Celtic and Rangers as the most successful clubs out of everybody but let's get straight into it and see if anything else has changed so we'll go to the premiership we can see hibernian on the current holders and oh it's uh potentially looks like there is a bit of change we've got celtic and rangers winning one title each hearts winning two and hibernian winning six so in the last 14 15 seasons hibernian have won 10 of them and you've got rangers on two hearts on two and celtic um yeah celtic are beginning to finish second a lot more than rangers rangers barely appear to be honest they they win it um but they've won it more times than they finished second and even third kilmarnock finishing in third quite a few times as well and rafe rovers finishing in third okay yeah, so let's have a look who's in the leaves in here this season. So we've got usual suspects. Dundee, Dundee United back in. Uh, United, Rafe still in there. So yeah, it's usual suspects. Something we I've just noticed is the Scottish Premiership is now up to sixth in the coefficients, which means I think they get an extra place. Yeah, so the top half of the table gets into Europe. So we've got a top three. Going into the Champions League. So I think that means Rafe Rovers potentially Raji in the Champions League for a year. Um, and then we've got two to go into Europa League. And then one, depending on the Scottish Cup winner, goes into the Conference League. So yes, getting interesting with the improvement there. We'll have a look at the Championship. Not anybody really standing out there. Either going down or coming up. No non-league side in there. Championship, we've got a few. A championship, no league one, we've got a few non-league sides in there now. Break and see, East Kilbride, Inveryuri Locos, and Pollock. League two. Hit and miss, to be fair. I say hit and miss. We've got Peterhead and Spartans, and Elgin, Dumbarton. Bonnie Rig, all still in there from last time. From like when we started, but... Looks like from over here, Spartans. We've Livingston Raven down in there. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't see that. Um, anybody else that stands out like from there? Uh, no, but Auckland. Where are Auckland like now? Oh, they've gone down to the um, Lowland League. Um, let's have a look at the Highland League. Inverness still in there. Let's see how they've been doing. They are they're finishing like towards the top so it's not like they're going down any further would be interesting to be fair if they i mean if they did go further they would go to the north caledonian league um there's nowhere else that they could go to be honest as far as i'm concerned anyway but um you've yeah, got montrose in there as well let's play let's have a look at the lowland league that will be in an um linton still in there good to see the boys in there Doing well. Um, looks like it's been dominated by Celtic B. Uh, but it's nice to see that we've had at least a couple of titles won by non-B teams. So yeah, Broomhill, Pollocks and Cuthberts. Broomhill again, Campbelltown Pupils. Caledonian Locomotives, but Celtic going mental there. We'll have quick looks at the rest of them. North, North Caledonian. Nobody stands out there. North Juniors. Yeah, not really anybody standing out there. Apart from Straths Bay and East Sterling. Midlands. Um, not really, apart from the fact that Hawkirk and Invergordon, Orkney and Doofus, I think is how you say that. And first, so all former North Caledonian sides. So God knows what North Caledonia looks like. So West of Scotland Premier, we've got Alawa. So another team has fallen down a little bit. East of Scotland. 
Kelty Hearts, actually. Interesting. And then the south of Scotland, where Stranra are back in there. St. Cuthbert's getting relegated, depending on when they won the uh, Little League a while ago. Let's see what else we got in North Championship. No one really standing out there. West of Scotland first. Not really. East of Scotland first. We've got Berwick Rangers. Um, former, like, I was going to say Premiership side. Not former Premiership side. Former league side. Who actually in real life are actually in the Lowland League. So, yeah, not too bad. West of Scotland. No one. East of Scotland second. No. Sterling Albion. That was who I was looking for. West of Scotland third division. So literally one level from actually going down to the bomb division. And that is literally the full on bomb division as well. There's nothing lower than that. And it's the only one on its own. We'll have a look at the Scottish Cup now. Hibernians again, current holders. And yeah, Hibernian winning it the most times. They've won it four times. Celtic Rangers again won each, but we've also got Dundee, Ross County, Hearts, Kilmarnock. So, I mean, to be fair, Scottish Cup has always been every any far they've done like this. Scottish Cup has always been about ten years. Rangers, Celtic, and in a mixture after that. Um, but this has been quite. I quite like to see this. I want to see a hundred years. I I'm going to make the prediction. Uh, Hibernian, if they carry on the way they are, will probably come the most dominant in the next like in a hundred years. They could be close to taking Rangers already, to be honest, in the trophy count. League Cup. Celtic actually winning a couple there. Hibernian not winning much. Celtic winning three there. So that's not too bad. Um, we'll go to Europe. Let's see if they've won any more any more trophies. We will start, as always, in a Champions League. I I I would make I, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this file for, but I would be very surprised if we ever get a Scottish winner of the Champions League. Champions League. I mean, I did say that about European win at all, but Rangers won one in the first 10 years. Let's go into the Europa League. Um, no. Nobody there. Runners up. No. And finally, the Conference League. Straight away. Hearts. So we've now got another winner. Scottish winner of the Europa League. So Hearts beating Real Sociedad. So they are now in the, in the Europa League this year as well. Um, so yeah, nice to see another trophy. Hang on, I need to check this. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where is it? The Europa League. Oh no, it has won one twice. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought I'd missed one. That, that seemed seemed quite close, but it's not. Uh, that was a conference league, right? Okay, ignore me. So yeah, that's not gone too bad. Let's have a look at um, just have a look at it, like rankings and stuff. So first off, Scotland, thirty fourth. They are going down a bit more. Scottish Premiership is still four stars, which is good. Um. Robert Mason playing for Benfica, 24, not bad as well. That's a good sign. Wanted by, of course, Al Nazir. Where did he start his life? Man United, okay. <laughs> um, Andy Jenkins at Al Hilal, 33, so not too long before he retires. Started at Man City, of course he did, but did go on loan to what's coming Hibs. Callum Reed from Spurs started at Rangers at least, and then Liverpool bought him for four. That's a mental one. Rangers, Liverpool, Barcelona, PSG, Spurs. One hundred forty-six mil spent on him. First player to actually um, start in Scotland as well in Rangers. Raymond Downey at Nice, thirty-two. Man City again. Liverpool, Chelsea, Man U, and then Nice. Billy White, who's actually at Celtic, 30 years old as well, but it turns out he's on loan from Spurs. Sort of Aberdeen. 
So that's good. Uh, Man City born 13 mil. Well known to Hibs as well. And then we'll see Seb Cormack, who is currently at Al Shabab and started at Chelsea. A little bit worrying that we're not seeing many teams there, at least, or big name players that were starting in Scotland. But I suppose that might shed some light on the fact that most of them have come from England. Um, we got Stuart McGuffey, I think I was how you say it. 30 year old who is currently at Wolves, potentially up to 100 mil as well. Sorry, Ipswich, that's a new one. Billy White, Spurs, no, he's, I just, we just looked at him, didn't we? Yeah, just looked at him. Um, let's have a look at how Scotland have done in competitions. So, World Cup. They haven't actually qualified for one since 2054, almost 20 years. And what about the Euros? They are at least qualifying for that. They've made two, losing to England in the second round and then not even making it out of the group stage two years, like last year. Um, I mean, it's, it's showing and they're, they're, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um it's a little bit disappointing to be honest. I thought they would be doing a lot better. Um, I was going to check something, but I've completely forgotten what it actually was. Nope, can't remember what it actually is. But we've got well, that says something as well. Hibs, Celtic, and Hearts are the top three rated sides, and not only that, but the top three in Europe as well. And then we've got Rangers. Followed by Rafe Dundee. Yeah, it's um, looks like Rangers might be falling away a bit, and uh, who knows what could happen there. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's interesting. But um, yeah, fifty years into the future, and this is what it looks like. Quite looking forward to getting up to a hundred years and seeing who is where. Um, I think range. I think. I, I would be very surprised if it carries on like this and Hibs or someone is not hired in Celtic um, or not number one for these 50 years anyway, for these 100 years. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, who's Scotland manager? Random one. Chris McCann. Or oh, a pretty decent manager, to be fair, 52. Um... Who's he? Must have a look at his career stats. That's his playing career. Being at um, France, Antrack Frankfurt, mad. Um, but he was out in his ear, manager. Rangers. Rafe as well. So he ended Reigns and went to Arbroath. Just literally the following year. Got him promoted as well. Took over at Rafe. And then went to Rangers. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, but, yeah, I mean, let's just actually quickly go back to the Euros and the World Cup just to see who's actually been winning it. So, yeah, we've got Spain back to back winners um, in the last, since we last were here. Portugal won as well. And then World Cup. Spain. Back to back again. So, uh, well, what? 2070 World Cup in India, Malaysia. Okay. Um, but yeah, back to back Spain in Europe and the World Cup as well. So, going pretty well. And s still England, no, actually being uh, uh, most successful in the World Cup with three wins there. But we got Spain, oh no, England and Germany, sorry. I didn't notice their um, first one. Um, but, yeah, that will be it for this episode, guys. Um, I will add on, as per usual, the trophy count. It will be interesting to see what that looks like after this, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, the trophy count will follow. So, until then, guys, enjoy looking at that, and then I'll see you in the next one. Here we go, guys. 
here is a trophy count as said we are now 50 years into the future and we are starting to see a bit of a change we've now got another winner in the premiership in hearts but the fact that Hibernian are now second for the most premiership wins not far behind Celtic um, Celtic are dominating still as you can see um, but Hibernian are making a big step up they're now only one trophy behind Rangers um, so I can see they, they will definitely be in front of them after this um, we've got another European winner in Hearts so we've got a few now to show um, but I'll leave it on here for a little bit longer um, but yeah this is the trophy count at the 50 year mark and um, yeah here's to the next 50 years and 100 years down the line and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes, especially when you consider Hibs are now taking a, a bit of a move up, so are Hearts as well. Rangers are starting to fall a bit, a little bit, but um, yeah, let's just wait and see what happens there. But as I said, guys, the next episode will either be a transfer special or we'll do the transfers and then have a look at the first game, depending on how the transfer window goes. Hopefully it'll be a lot better the next time. Uh, but yeah, as always guys, until then, take it steady.